Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome back to my Creeps newbie guide. Last time I said we will talk about automatic creep spawning today. Well, I was wrong, I decided it would be better to talk about upgrading your controller first. So every room has a controller, this is it. Whoever controls the controller, controls the room. And you can upgrade the controller by supplying energy to it. And if you do so, you will get access to more advanced building, uh, buildings and other useful things. However, if you don't upgrade your controller regularly, it will, down, uh, it will downgrade. And when it reaches level zero, you will lose control of the room. So we want to prevent that. So we're going to tell one of our creeps to upgrade the controller regularly. Okay, so we still have our two creeps, Violet and Anthony, from last time, sitting around. Pretty lazy right now because there's nothing to do because the spawn is full, so they cannot supply it with energy. Um, so, that, so they're not doing anything. We could spawn more creeps, obviously, but let's not do that right now. Um, and instead, think about how we make one of them upgrade the controller. Well, we have this means we have two different tasks now, which means we have to differentiate between the two creeps. So what we're going to do is we assign them roles. And we do that very similar how we did assign them a state. We do it via the memory. So we type in the console um, game creeps violet, violet, there we go, memory, and we define a new variable called role and we save the string harvester in there. So violet will be the one supplying the spawn with energy. And now we um, do uh, creeps anthony and access the memory and give him a role as well and we're going to call that role upgrader there we go so this will obviously not do anything yet because we didn't use those roles yet but we're going to do so in a moment via code obviously before we do that however i want to um, split my code into <coughs> into multiple files first you're going to see why this is handy uh, in a moment um, this is the same code um, from last time, as, as we had last time, I just added some comments to make it a little bit easier to understand. And uh, now we're going to split this into two files. In order to do so, we go to the script tab if I am um, over here, and there's a new module name line. In this uh, line, we're going to type uh, the name of the module. We're going to call it role harvester. And we press enter and we save it. There we go. Um, we switch to the IDE and it will sh it will pop up here. So this is a module. And um, a module is accessible from outside of this script. So we can access the module from the main script. I'm going to show you how in a moment. But um, let's first talk about the module itself. Um, everything you want to be accessible has to be inside of this object, inside of those two uh, those brackets. So we have module.exports, and everything which is inside those two um, brackets will be accessible from outside. So we will give this object a, uh, a property, which is called run. Um, and we put a function in there, which as a parameter takes a creep. So there we go. And that's a function now. And the content of the function now, let's, imp uh, let's increase the size really quick. And uh, for the content of this function, we're going to just take the code from last time. We're going to delete this. We don't need that anymore. We take this code for half wasting energy and we put it into the run function. There we go. We save and now we go over to the main script and what we have to do now to access the, the other script is we type require and then the name of the script role.harvester and we're going to save this to a variable role harvester and it's important that you do this outside of the loop and now everything that is inside those brackets so well, everything in this object is accessible via this role harvester um, variable. So the object is stored in this variable, basically. And um, this means we can actually access the property by calling role harvester dot run and pa pass it the creep. And now the creeps will do the same as before, but we nicely split it, separated our code into multiple files. And the creeps will still do the same, so they do nothing because the spawn is still full. But they would do something if the spawn would not be full. So, sorry. <clears throat> okay, sorry for that. Let's continue. Okay, so now we want the upgrader. For the upgrader, we're going to create another module. And that's why I started creating modules in the first place. To net not make my main file super big and uh, hard to read and stuff like that. So we create a new module. We call it role upgrader. Press enter click the uh, mark for saving it and it shows up here and it's similar to the other one and actually it's not even only similar it's a very similar to the harvester what we have to do because the upgrader 
is doing very similar things. Instead of, like, he, he's going to the source and harvesting energy, and then instead of going to the spawn and supplying that with energy, he's going to the upgrade and supplies that with energy. So besides that, it's very, very similar. So because we're lazy, we're just going to take the code from the harvester and put it in here. There we go. And um, we only have to adjust this very minimally. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we change those two lines because the rest is the same. We only have to change those two lines. So first, let's comment this out and um, replace it with if creep, there's a function called roll, uh, upgrade, or upgrade, no, what's it called? Upgrade controller. There we go. Controller. And as a target, we give it a controller. Um, and we can access the controller via the creeps room property. So the creeps room property is the object or the room object from of the room the creep is in. So this is the room the creep is inside, and we can access the room's controller by uh, via the the controller property. So this is the controller of the room of the um, the creep is in. And if we pass this to the function upgrade controller, the creep will try to upgrade the controller. And similar to the transfer function, it will return an error code if it's not working. So we're going to check for error not in range. And don't forget to get the bracket. And that's almost it. We only have to change one more thing. We have to say don't move to the spawn if it's not working. Uh, instead, move to the controller. Obviously, that makes more sense. If we save now, we can switch over. And hopefully, Anthony will start moving to the controller. Let's check. Um, he's not. So maybe I forgot something. Hmm. Let's check the memory really quick. Memory creeps Anthony. He has roll upgrader. So far so good. Uh, but he's not moving. So I probably forgot something. Let's let's double check what I wrote. Upgrade controller, is that correct? Upgrade controller. Seems correct. Oops. That's not what I wanted exactly. Uh, creep room controller. Not in range. Creep move to creep room controller. This should work. I'm not sure why it's not. Did I save? Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we forgot to actually use the script. So we defined the script, but we didn't use it yet. So we have to switch back over to the main script. Well, things like that happen if you're programming, at least to me, regularly. Um, so we have to do the same thing as for the harvester script. We do roll uh, upgrader over here. And um, now we have to differentiate between the two creeps or between the roles. So we check for if creep memory role is harvester then we're gonna run the harvest script oops and if that's not the case we're gonna check if the role is maybe maybe uh, upgrader uh, not greater upgrader there we go and in that case we you guessed it run the upgrader script there we go and now it should work Go, go, Anthony. There we go. He starts moving towards the controller. So that's it. Um, one little side note. What you could do instead, instead of this line, we could use almost the old line, just with a very minor adjustment. Instead of transferring to the spawn, we have to transfer to the controller. And this would work exactly the same. The reason for that is that um, upgrading, to, uh, upgrading a controller is exactly the same as transferring energy to it. So those two functions, um, or not, not those two functions, but those two functions in this scenario. So if you the target is a controller and the resource is energy, um, the transfer does exactly the same as upgrading a controller. Uh, at least as far as I know, I couldn't find a difference so far. But since upgrade controller is a little easier to read, we're going to go with that. Or a little easier to understand when you read it. So there we go. Cool. So that's it. Um, for upgrading the controller and splitting your script into mul multiple files, which is very handy because if you don't, you get a very long file, nobody can read properly and um, very hard to find things inside. So yeah, separating your code makes sense. Okay, so next time we're actually gonna talk about um, automating the spawning of creeps. And until that, uh, until that, have fun, thanks for watching and see you then.